Now, I want to close by giving some of my thoughts about COP26. Of course, I was there for two long weeks and I noticed interest sort of ebb and flow. And it seemed to me that when the world leaders were there, people were rather interested. Then everyone lost interest. And by the final day, these extra times, these deadlines being missed, these last minute changes being demanded, people pricked up an ear. And I wonder to what extent people will notice who the villains of the peace are. So many protesters seem to protest against this government, so many people gluing their faces to the roads and screaming at government ministers. But it wasn't the UK government that was holding up global negotiations. It wasn't the UK government that was weakening and watering down. If anyone is to be protested over what happened on Sunday, surely, surely it should be India and China. The countries that watered down the commitment on coal, the countries that put in jeopardy the entire premise of an agreement. It's interesting to read this morning what uh, the British delegation was thinking at that time. Alok Sharma reportedly wanted to push this on, to take it to a vote to stand up to China and India. Whereas when China and India met the US and the EU, they capitulated. I wonder at what point environmentalists will realise that the, this government, that the government of the United Kingdom, is really on their side. I, I mean, it seems extraordinary that environmental protesters seem to be shouting loudest at the people who agree with them. A pretty extraordinary state of affairs. But it's true that COP wasn't the blazing success it could have been. There, there wasn't this amazing moment where all the countries in the world came together in a moment of harmonious agreement. What they did was come together in a moment of begrudging agreement, an, an inch forward, keeping 1.5 degree warming on life support rather than that clear trajectory. And I think it's fair in moments like these to say that things don't have to be a blazing success or a dismal failure. Things can muddle along through. And really, that's what COP26 was. It was a muddle. There were some successes. And as Boris Johnson said this weekend, he gave it a 6 out of 10. And potentially, 6 out of 10 is just enough to hope that everything will be pretty much Fine.